Number 62. Inside a motor, 30 amps passes through a 250 turn circular loop that is 10 centimeters in radius. What is the magnetic field strength created at its center? All right, so uh, we're going to use this rule over here, or not this rule, but this formula. talks about the current in a loop. Now, we're going to make one alteration to this formula. I would actually be better if you, we kind of just had this formula. Uh, it'd be capital N, but they didn't really give it in the text. So capital N multiplied by uh, the permeability of free space times I, all divided by 2 times R. Now, the only addition I made is N. Now, if you had a circ if you had a loop with only one turn on it, that would just be a simple like circular loop, right? N is then going to equal. Remember, N is the number of loops basically. And if N is one, you know this thing just goes bye bye. And notice now here's your formula that you've been working with for a while. But what I would do is I would just kind of add the N on in there, and uh, that way, in case you're dealing with something with more than one turn, oh wait a minute, you're not confused, right? So that would probably be a better formula to know. So now all we need to do is simply plug it in. So you got 250 turns here. The permeability of free space is going to be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th. The current here, they told you, was 30 amps, divided by then 2 times the radius of the loop. So they gave it to you in centimeters, but you know we need that in meters, so simply divide that by 100. And bada bing, bada boom, do a little plug and chug. So it's 250 multiplied by 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th times 30, divided then by parenthesis 2 times 0.1. And it's going to work out to be about 4.71, I guess, times 10 to the minus 2 Tesla. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.